So Carl, thanks for joining me. Today's just going to be like recapping September as a whole. So we had five games in the month, yep. won four, lost one. How would you say the month went in your eyes? Uh, obviously we'd like it to be better. We'd like to have five wins out of five. Um, but it, it's it's a long season. Um, we've it's a long season, lots of things can still happen. It's been a decent month. We've shown character at times to come from behind 2-0 down a couple of times. But I wouldn't say we've hit the ground running. We haven't really flowed yet. So I'm, wait, I'm looking forward to that happening because there's a great squad here. This month seen a lot of goals. Yeah. Uh, Charlie scored every single game but the Exeter one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's been done in the club before, but it's quite impressive. She's on fire. Yeah. Charlie Wilson's Charlie Wilson. She's been, I mean, I'm not going to tell you her age on here because it, it, she, age means nothing with Charlie. She's been scoring goals all over the country for over 20 odd years and she will continue to do it for another couple of seasons. I've got no doubt the way she looks after herself. Phenomenal athlete, lovely person. Not just Charlie scoring the goals, we've had plenty from Chelsea and also KT as well. Yeah. Your attacking options are really good this season, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they've given me a headache because we've we've had some great work, we've signed some great players in wide areas. KT now, she, she knew when she came in that we, we knew she was raw. Um, she's now getting the hang of what we're looking for from her. Her performance when she came on against Exeter the weekend, she changed the game. She was phenomenal and that first goal was Beautiful football. Beautiful yeah, it was football. class. Talking about the older players in the squad, such as Charlie, we've also seen some younger players come in as well, like Honey Bonds and Freya. Mm. Is that obviously mixing the two experiences together? It must be really good, um, really good experience for the two youngsters coming into the squad now. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, there's, there's no better environment for the likes of Honey and Freya to, to develop from, to, to develop around than the great ex, ex pros and stuff that we've got, Kirsty Pierce. What a career she's had. Gemma Simmons, another one who's had a great career. Skinny's had a great career. Emma Moody gets up and down the wing still like she's 18. So these youngsters come in and they, they get to see the, the senior mentality. And it, I can only rub off on them. It, it's, it's a great environment for the youngsters to come into. This month we've seen the... Um, this month we've seen the loss of Eve Annett's. Yeah. Um, she had a really good month with us, yeah. uh, even got called up to the England under-19s and yeah. uh, now she's been recalled to Reading. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, listen, we, when, I, when I got Eve on loan, um, from the first as a goalkeeping coach myself, the first minute I was working with Eve, there was something, there's something special about that girl. There's no doubt about it. And I'd already said to the staff a few weeks back, I think it was after the QPR game, we're not going to be able to keep this girl here for long. She's, she's going to be going places. Um, that, funny enough, that was the week she got her England call up. Um, the feedback I got from St George's with this, she was excelling and doing well with England. She got her first England start. I actually believe the girl will play England senior football when, when she's older. I think she's that good. But that girl breaks all the moulds, all of them. Great, great kid, great girl. Pleasure to have worked with her here. And we just send her back home now with, with our best wishes and keep an eye on her career because it'll be exciting. Yeah, definitely. This month, uh, very strong game coming up on the first of it. Uh, first of the month is against Portsmouth in the Cup. How are you feeling again, about it? Yeah, it was, a, it was a bit ironic really because we get to play them in the PDFA Cup every year and then obviously after the QPR win, we turned around a, a bad performance but ground out a result. Um, and then we, you're looking at the, the selections, you've got Newcastle, you've got Nottingham Forest, you've got lots of big clubs in the, in the tournament. And we draw bloody Pompey again. It's like you know, it's, it could have been anywhere, but it is what it is. We've got um, we've got a good squad. We're intending to go and give them a game again. We know where they're at this year. Huge budget, great squad. Probably the strongest Pompey side that they've had for a long, long time. Um, as you should have with, the, with a budget like that. But they're also I know Kim's standing well, and she's a great coach, and they're playing some nice football too. Lovely. Thanks for that. No worries. Thank you.